Oh, NFL football, we knew you come. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Debate Amongst Friends. It's Thursday, and today's a special day. I don't know if you know this, but today is a special day. It is the return of NFL football kicking off tonight with them boys heading to Florida to face off against your reigning, defending, undisputed National Football League world champions, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. This is the first John Guy, the king of RNG, the troll master, the data analyzed ninja, the conqueror of my own fate, the Terminator, hence the cleaner best podcasting machine and i'm running a solo today i'm not there with the podcasting beast the sultan of squat himself doc the god uh he's out there just changing the world just a little bit better every moment second minute at a time I'm going to get into tonight's game, but first, we're going to wrap up the tail end of the power rankings. Let's start off with number 16, the Indianapolis Colts. As for week one, they will get Quentin Nelson coming back, which is going to be a great benefit for them against those Seattle Seahawks. Oh, yeah, some guy named Carson Wentz going to be playing too, but who cares about that crap? Uh, they, I mean, the AFC South is obviously the Tennessee Titans division to win. Uh, the Colts will always still be in the conversation for wild card. Um, we're just going to see how consistent they are. Um, of course, they did pay Darius Leonard the bag over the offseason. So let's see what they have. Uh, I think 16 is okay. Uh Number 17, we have the Minnesota Vikings, another team that's kind of meh. Uh, they have good games. They have really, really bad games, but they have some weapons. Uh, Dalvin Cook, Justin Jefferson, Adam Thielen. I mean, really, they have all the tools. We just don't know if those tools can turn into a deep playoff push. This could be the season. That buyer's remorse for Kirk Cousins comes into fruition. But let's see. Let's see what those uh, purple people leaders uh, bring to the table. Number 18, we have the Arizona Cardinals. Kyle Murray. I mean, they got some, they got a huge defensive upgrade getting. JJ, not TJ, who still needs to get paid by the Steelers. JJ Watt, who can still bring a lot to the table. And they have some really good young uh, linebackers, Isaiah Simmons and uh, Zayvon Collins. Um, I mean, honestly, again, like these middle of the pack teams, it's all about just being consistent, honestly. Uh, what I say about the Cardinals, I'll say the same thing about uh, the Dallas Cowboys at number 19. Dak is back, and if you're a Cowboys fan, that means we go to the Super Bowl. But that defense is still suspect. Um, I mean, they have the offense to go. They can put it on points, but the defense need to be able to stop. And we'll find out tonight uh, against those Buccaneers, uh, as we mentioned from yesterday's show, number one. At number 20, we have... The football team of Washington, they paid Curtis Samuel, which, I mean, honestly, it's okay, but he is on the uh, DNP list. Uh, So let's see what happens there. Uh, The defense is still legitimate. um, And we're going to find out if uh, there's going to be any interest in Cameron Newton. Um, and Riverboat Ron reuniting in our nation's capital. Ron said, maybe not. 
I say, let's wait. It's too soon to tell. Number 21, we got the best. Again, this is another team. Defense, legitimate. Offense, <laughs> oh, you're serious. Number 22, we have the Denver Broncos. Again, another team that has excellent, excellent defensive players. Their problem was quarterback. They brought in Teddy Bridgewater. He is going to be QB1. And I think he has been a great upgrade for the squad. Uh, not to say anything negative about Drew Locke, but I feel like uh, Teddy Bridgewater can come in and just do something new. I feel like the formula for quarterback play in Denver has been consistently bad due to the type of quarterback that they want. And I think having Teddy uh, manning the helm, you know, will rattle some cages and, you know, bring some noise out there back in the AFC West. Speaking of the AFC West, at number 23, we have the Las Vegas Raiders. I mean, a few years ago, we talked about Carr being an MVP candidate, then he got hurt. Honestly, I don't know what's going on with their running back core. Uh, Josh Jacobs, who had an incredible rookie season. I mean, he had a sophomore slump. Maybe that's what it was. But, I mean, I want to see more from him. And the less I can say about their defense, the better. Uh, They would have games where they're locking people up. And then they would have games like they had against Miami. Enough said. Number 24, we have the New York football Giants. I know there's a lot of Giants fans that don't want to hear what I have to say. (sighs) Your division's trash. And... You shouldn't feel proud of yourself to just say, oh, well, we have Shaquan Barkley back and we're going to be good. That's all I got to say. The less I can say about number 25, the better the Philadelphia Eagles is in, is the drizzling poop. And I don't mean the Sultan of Squat Doc, the God. They are a mess. They are a mess. And poor Jalen Hurts is collateral damage. Number 26, uh, we got the Atlanta Falcons. I have no clue if they're trying to rebuild. I have no clue if they're trying to win now. It feels like a little column A, a little column B. And I'm going to move on. Number 27, we have the Carolina Panthers, a team that can still generate wins. They, They have themselves a little bit of a good young squad. I just think maybe one one or two more years, and that's when they'll be able to start making a push back in the NFC South. Whew. What should I say about 28, 29, 30, 31, and 32? Because all five are the drizzling crap of the league. Poor Joe Burrow. I mean, I think the Jaguars are going to be bad now. I think they're going to improve within the next few years because changing the guards and whatnot. But so that's why I'm not too worried about the Jaguars. I mean, they're crap now, but they're going to. And of course, the big turd in the room, which is the Houston Texans. The succubus has cometh, the succubus hath taken away. Anyone who, who wants to go to Houston, to that Texas organization, good luck. And that's all I got. That's all John Gotti had to say about that. But that is the outwards. That was the power ranking heading into week one. But tonight, 8.20 p.m. Eastern Standard Time in Raymond James Stadium, home of last season's Super Bowl. We have 
the return of fans, and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers hosting. It's a celebration. So much celebration that the betting line has risen up to nine and a half points, according to FanDuel. People are putting in their bets for two touchdowns as the gap, as the cover uh, for this game. Honestly, it's so many storylines. Of course, I mentioned Dak Prescott returning back. Uh, he was he was on fire before he got hurt. Honestly, like it was literally the Cowboys' uh, division to lose last year, and they did. But uh, they don't have one of their tackles playing uh, due to COVID. Um, I mean, we'll see what happens. Uh, Tom Brady, of course, starting year 22, 22 years of Tom Brady. That is quite impressive, actually. Um, And of course, the Buccaneers said, you know what? We liked the first time. Let's run it back. We ain't happy with that. Run it back. Uh, They want to go back to back. So tonight begins their quest to repeat. A lot of people have them winning the uh, topping the AFC, uh, NFC, um, as the number one seed uh, in their preseason predictions. I say, let's wait and see. Um, I mean, the only thing that I could say that I'm definitely going to have an eye out on is uh, let's see which uh, Dallas defense we're going to get tonight. Are we going to get the defense that can lock things down and look like a potential, you know, playoff, deep playoff contender, or we're going to have the type of Dallas team that we had last season or the year before that, or the year before that, where your secondary just can't stop a sneeze. I don't know. We're going to have to see. But I know that you know, and those people out there know, that. I know you heard this on your favorite podcasting platform, but if you did not, you can always listen on our website at www.debatamongstfriends.com. Tune in Monday through Friday, 4 p.m. Eastern time for every single episode of this great sports podcast. We appreciate each and every one of you who listen. Give us a like. Give us a subscribe. Leave us a comment. Let us know what you feel about these things. As we give you more news, analysis, and the reads.